In this video we're going to talk about um, doing vertical text spacing. So if I were to type in some text here, uh, like this, I'm just going to hit enter after every line of text so that it goes to the next line of text. I think that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. Um, so I've got three lines of text, each of them are one inch spacing. Usually I would change this top line of text. Um, I hit control and then eight on the numeric keypad to go up by a quarter of an inch, but you could also come up and uh, change the spacing there. It doesn't show me spacing uh, or size, I guess. It doesn't show me the text size because there's multiple sizes. Um, that's why it's blank there. So if we've got um, <coughs> text that's three separate lines just by hitting enter. The way that it does spacing is based off of a percentage of the overall character's uh, height. And so it's not a, a consistent number. It's If I were to measure this from the baseline to the top of the E, it's 0.648 inches. The same thing from here to here. It is 0.559 inches. And that's because it's going off a percentage of the height of the letter. You can change that uh, spacing easily if you select the text with the shape tool and then it gives you this uh, tool right here. This is for left and right spacing um, but this is for your vertical spacing, up and down spacing. So if you click on that and drag up and down then you'll see that you get more or less spacing. If I do this slowly uh, you'll see that the June and the December run into each other whereas the Joseph and the December don't and that's because th um, this spacing here is a percentage of the size of Joseph, and so that's why it's more spacing. So you can do that where you're interactively deciding how much spacing you want. The downside to that is that it's not a set number, and so if you were trying to do dates of death or something in the cemetery in the future, and you had to uh, match that spacing, then it gets a little bit more complicated. The industry standards, I think, you know, are about quarter inch to half inch uh, variations in spacing. So when you start doing really odd numbers, um, then it would be a little bit trickier. If you don't care about that, then you know it's it's uh, faster to adjust your spacing this way. I just don't suggest it because uh, you're usually making more work for yourself later on. Unless, of course, you don't have to worry about the date of death, then it's fine. Okay, so you can do that with uh, the shape tool. If I were to go up to text and go to text properties, it's showing me that percentage here. Uh, right now I switched it to 88%, which before it would have been at 100, somewhere around 100. So it would have been there, um, but I moved it down to 80. So you can see as I move this slider, um, that adjusts that number over there. So you can actually set specific sizing with this, I mean a, a specific number, if I wanted to say 150% then I can just type it in and it'll give me that percentage. If I wanted to go back to 100 I can do the same thing. You can also switch this drop down to points or percent of point size um, instead. So if I wanted to do specific spacing um, it does it in points because that's what its standard is, but I can switch that to inches. The thing is, if I want to do spacing between lines of text, I have to know how big the line of text is first. Um, so if it was one inch text, I'd have to do one inch and then give it the um, however many inches I want between lines. So let's say 1.5 inches and then do the inch. I either have to type in uh, the inch thing there or type in IN either way and then it will do the math to switch that over to the point value. So now we should have half an inch spacing between each of these lines of text. There we go, half inch there and half inch there. We can see that by looking at our our height of our rectangle. Sorry I should have pointed that out before. Okay, so that's uh, how you can do spacing without using the spacing docker. Um, I really don't suggest doing it this way just because you can't set this as a uh, as a constant 
for each document because the default is going to be the percent of character height. Um, and so that's why I find with the spacing docker here you can set 0.5 as your default and then every time you want to do half inch spacing you just hit apply and it'll what it does is it actually breaks those lines of text apart and then spaces them half an inch away from each other. So if I were to change that to 0.75, I can grab those three lines of text holding shift and then hit apply and it would space then three quarter inches between each of those. So there's just another way of doing spacing, um, the vertical line spacing.